Hello, I officially welcome you to my YouTube channel. My name is Seth. Um, we are in the latter part of 2021, and you know, as the year comes to an end, you will need to plan for 2022. Okay, so in this video, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to share with you how to successfully plan for 2022. If you're interested in this video, why don't you come with me as we look at that? Welcome back. What I do on this channel is very simple. I share my experience in everything I think will benefit I mean, society, everything I believe will add value to the lives of human. So here I am today sharing with you how to plan for um, a successful 2022. It is said, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. This should probably put you on the forefront that planning is very important in everything you do. If you want to establish a business, you need to plan. If you want to have financial success, you need to plan. If you want to further education, you need to plan. In fact, everything in life, I mean, is several around planning. Because if you don't plan, the possibility that you fail will be very, very, very high. That is why I believe that as 2022 is coming forth, it is appropriate for each individual who wants to attain success to sit up and then plan. Just take your pen and paper and then try putting down something, okay? So how do you plan? In today's video, I'm going to show you everything on the board. I believe that you can see one or two things written in here. We have the spiritual life, we have social life, we have financial life, we have emotional and the psychological life. I mean, these are important aspects of our lives that we can't forfeit. No matter who you are, no matter where you come from, no matter your background, no matter what you do, you fall. I mean, you have all these things, I mean, running around you, and you have to be very critical of that. The reason why most people fail in life is because we don't pay attention to all these things. You know, each one of us has a spiritual life. We have social life, we have financial life, and we have emotional life. And depending on how you live these lives, would affect you either positively or negatively. So without wasting much time, let's see. Assuming that you are here, you are in the middle here, okay? And that is your physical life. I mean, everything people say about you is your physical life. So if, I mean, people believe that you are looking good, if you are in good health, I mean, whatever people see about you with their naked eyes, is a manifestation of your physical life okay now one thing you should take into consideration is that whatever happens at this particular area of your life which is the spiritual life has an impact on your physical life whatever happens at the social aspect of your life has an impact of your spiritual life whatever happens at the financial season of your life has an impact on your physical life and whatever happens at the emotional aspect of your life also has an impact on your physical life so in a nutshell your spiritual life plus your social life plus your financial life plus your emotional or psychological life make up your physical life that is your makeup okay so if you are not happy with how you look now if you are not conversant or actually excited about the state you are now then it means that there's a problem with one of these things and to plan for a successful 2022 you must look out for the loopholes in each one of these areas now starting to explain whatever is on the board here I would want to commence with your spiritual life. One may ask, what is spiritual life? You know, it's the kind of life we live to basically relate with God, okay? Or to basically relate with the person you believe in, I mean, the person you think created you. You know, we all don't believe in God. We have different beliefs, okay? So as a matter of fact, um, if you believe in God, the question you should ask yourself is, in 2022, how are you going to build your relationship with God, okay? Um, if you believe in God, then you should be able to look out for ways to establish a firm relationship with God. And that is very, very important. So, you should plan for your spiritual life. In 2022, how are you going to grow religiously? Is it by prayers? Is it by attending church each and every day? Or is it by attending church every Sunday? Is it by reading your Bible? So, if you are reading your Bible, how many times would you have to read your Bible in a day? And how are you going to retain the information you read from the Bible? How are you going to act on it? So your spiritual life is very, very important. Draw a goal. I mean, how many times are you reading your Bible each and every day? And after reading your Bible, what next? What happens? And uh, how many times are you going to pray? What are you going to pray about? How many times are you going to church? Which church do you want to attend? I mean, you should incorporate all those in here in your spiritual life. And you should have a plan for this. 
because if you fail your spiritual life definitely it will affect your physical life and that is very very important so your plan here has a manifestation on your physical life now let's move on to your social life so the social life here has to do with how you relate with people so you can see that i mean the diagram showing that how you relate with people it has to do with your relationship with people your marriage your dating um, i mean life and everything that has to do with interaction with people networking the people you come into contact with so if you are at work i mean your co-workers how you relate with them how you talk to them everything about your relation with people comes under social life so if you have i mean a hostile relationship with people they really you have an impact on your physical life and if you have a cordial relationship with people they really to have an impact on your physical life if your marriage is in cycles if your marriage is not working as you expect they will really have an impact on your physical life so how you relate with people so your relation with people will go a long way to affect you in 2022 so you should plan at this particular aspect too i mean your social life in as much as you are relating with people there are times you want to mingle move out of your comfort zone mingle go to i mean other places to explore it all forms part of the social life so you have to plan i mean the year i mean within the whole year how many times do you want to maybe visit a tourist attraction site or how many times do you want to i mean move to i mean join an organization or something like that so you have to incorporate all in the social life here that is very very important so i just want you to understand that your social life has to do with your relationship with people moving out to new places exploring new places keep all those in your plan the next aspect i would want us to talk about is the financial life you see our financial life is one of the aspects that we must um, try as much as possible to work on because it also has an impact on how we look or, or how we appear physically you see we go to work each and every day we try to do things that will bring us money and you know we want to build some kind of financial freedom for ourselves the life we can live to help others the life we can live to explore um, other places the life we can live to build houses the life we can live to establish businesses so if you don't work on your financial life and um, probably the happiness you should have in your physical aspect or in your real state wouldn't be possible you know a lot of people are feeling life because they are not working on this aspect of their lives they work very hard hoping to receive their salary and their demands the money comes in and it's almost finished okay so the question is in 2022 basically how much are you going to save each and every month or every week and after you saved huge amounts of money what are you going to do with the money so you should draw up the plan like that because if you don't do it, it will affect you financially you won't be able to meet up to your family needs you won't be able to even buy for a shop the things you need to live comfortably because nowadays um to have a more comforting life money should be included if you don't have money you can't establish the business you're going to have if you don't have money you can't further your education if you don't have money there's nothing you can do okay you need money to do almost everything in this world and if you take your financial life for granted you will be found one thing you know this financial aspect or financial management isn't taught in schools so as a matter of fact it should be your responsibility to learn financial management you know and to be able to do that there are some good books you can read to change your mentality about money to i mean help you know how to do with the money once you have it in your bank account or once you have it in your hand it's not all about spending um you should be able to I mean come up with an appropriate budget to meet up to your needs and your desires okay so work on your financial life and that will manifest i mean massively in your physical life read books books about finances and i believe that will go a long way to help you draw budgets when your salary is in don't just spend i mean don't spend and think of saving the remaining okay is better you see and then probably spend the rest that is the most important thing here and also try as much as possible to pay yourself first pay yourself first so as 2022 is coming it will be very expedient to sit up and then plan for your financial life 
And the last thing I would like to talk about has to do with your psychological or emotional life. You know, this represents the brain. Um, it's not good at drawing, but this manages like that. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, when you talk about emotions, we are looking at how we feel about people and how people make us feel. Okay. Um, it has to do with the mind. Okay, so it's about our thinking. It's about how we act to how people behave towards us. You know, we live in a community where people have different perceptions, people have different ways of life, people have different ways of speaking to us and a whole lot of that. Now, we can't control how people behave towards us, but we can react to how, I mean, they behave towards us, okay? So, to be able to build a strong emotional balance, you should understand one or two principles, okay? So, you should read about psychological books, books that have to do with, I mean, thinking, thoughts, feelings, so that you learn how to deal with people. Because I've come to realize that if you don't learn how to deal with people, you will always find fault with them or you will always be offended in the way, okay? So it's up to you to also look out for ways to build your psychological life because if you have, I mean, if you feel upset anytime people talk to you or if you always feel upset by what people say or by what people think about you, it will affect the way you, I mean, you, I mean, it, it will affect your physical appearance, okay? Because people who are emotionally down when you want to mingle with people, so you see, that will go a long way to affect your social life as well. People who are emotionally unstable wouldn't want to, um, I mean, even go out to work, so that will affect their financial life. So just be very critical of this, okay? You should work on your spiritual life, plan as 2022 is coming. Plan your social life, your financial life, and your emotional life. All these things come together to form you. I believe this lesson has been very, very insightful. Um, I just felt to share this with you. I mean, at this moment, I just wanted to plan for 2022. I mean, how is my life going to be in 2022? And I came up with this, I mean, um, structure. And I felt like I have to share it with you so that I can also plan your life and such. So you can, I mean, Create a column for your spiritual life and then write all the things you want to do in 2022 to boost your spiritual life. You can create a column for your social life so that you can also, I mean, write all you want to do to build your social life. You can create a column in your diary for your financial life so that you can write everything you want to do. I mean, your goals, your plans and the actions. And you can create a column for your emotional life. And I believe that, I mean, you can come up with I mean, plans and actions to boost this aspect. Know that they are very, very important in your life because they make you. That is very, very important. It's something I want you to understand. So, if you want to have a successful life in 2022, make sure you are incorporating this because you is the manifestation of each one of these. Thank you.